Hello and welcome to another Optics Trade review video. I have a open compact reflex red dot sight made by Vector Optics here today. The Frenzy 1x20x28. One stands for one times magnification and 20x28 refer to the dimensions of the window. I'll get to that more in detail later on. Vector Optics is a brand that is gradually becoming one of the major players in the sports optics market in the last couple of years. And they're known for their huge offer of various products associated with sports optics, available at incredibly affordable prices. They make rifle scopes, red dot sights, range finders, mounts, and similar products. They are incredibly flexible and frequently update their products or release new models. The headquarters is in China and they have plenty of experience in this field. They used to make, and I'm pretty sure that they're still making components for the products of other companies associated with optics. And this one that we're going to review today is just one of their many uh, open reflex red dot sights. Um, they have many similar also in their offer, including the Frenzy 1x22x26. And if you're looking at wet vector optics uh, red dot sights and deciding which ones to buy, you'll probably be deciding between 20 by 28 or 22 by 26 when it comes to this form factor. So I want to point out some differences between them. The first one that you notice is the lens size. This model here has a wider window, but it is a bit shorter in height. And because of that, this one doesn't stick out as much, but the construction is a little bit wider. So it has a two millimeter wider construction here in the lens but it's two millimeters shorter in height compared to the 22 by 26 model. Another difference, probably the most notable one associated with the features is that this one here is available in two dot sizes. The first one is three MOA. This is a standard because most vector optics dots come with three MOA dot size, but this one is also available in six MOA dot size. And this one here, as you can see, is of the six MOA type. Now many pistol users prefer a bigger dot, which provides more coverage, but allows for a better target acquisition. And you can use these dots, these dots with bigger dots, uh, so this device is with bigger dots, much better in hectic situations, because you can get on targets faster. And the fact that this one is available in two dot sizes is definitely a plus. However, it does not have a light sensor or motion sensor like the Frenzy, one by 22 by 26 models, but it is 50 euros more, ex more uh, less expensive. As regards the dimensions, it is 48 millimeters long, 30 millimeters wide here on the widest part, and around 27 millimeters high. Without the adapter, it weighs 31 grams. The adapter provides additional 24 grams of weight, and the side is made of 6061 T6 aluminum alloy. You cannot see the battery compartment now as it is located underneath the dot in between the adapter and uh, the footprint of the sight. And this for now is a minus because most vector optics reflex red dot sights uh, come with a battery compartment at the bottom for the moment, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to move it upwards or to the side in the next generations. Uh, it's quite a hassle if you have to remove the battery because you have to remove the sight from the firearm with the help of tools, and then you have to put it back on and re-zero it, and re-zero it in all situations. If you, the battery is somewhere on the side, uh, you avoid all of these inconveniences. The windage and elevation screws are in their standard locations. Uh, they do not produce clicks when rotated. You can use this provided tool here to zero the side. Well, it doesn't produce any clicks, so you have to rely a little bit on these lines around here. The point of impact movement is listed next to the screws. I couldn't find the information on the click value anywhere, but I assume it's one MOA. You get a fixed mount for the Picatinny platform. It's already mounted on the side when you receive it. If you remove it, there is the popular Trigicon RMR footprint underneath, so finding an additional mount is not a hard task. There is some blue tint in the upper section of the field of view when you look through the side, uh, but nothing major. 
I also have no problems looking through with both eyes open, thanks to the proper one times magnification. There are 10 levels of illumination altogether. I will get through them at the end of this video. The most powerful one is daytime bright. Even in the strongest sunlight, you can still see the dot if you set it to the maximum setting, but you can also dim it down and make it suitable for use in the dusk. And this is perhaps one of the most important things when it comes to, um, to the dot. When I look through, I see a perfect red dot sight. I will show the illumination at the end of this video. As I said, now it's difficult to show it through camera, but um, for me, the dot is great. I do not have astigmatism or any other eye error, so uh, this also contributes to that. Um, after four hours of inactivity, so if you for some reason forget to turn off uh, the illumination, the dot will power off to preserve battery life, and this is great since it happens to many of us that we sometimes forget to turn off the illumination and then find the empty battery next time we come to use the site. Of course, the site is also waterproof, shockproof, and fogproof. Made in China, as all other Vector Optics products at the moment. Uh, what you also get in the box is this really short instruction manual provides you with some basic information about the site. You also get the uh, warranty card in the box. Then you also get this rubber cover that you can put on the side when you're not using it to prevent any unwanted damage to the chassis and to the lenses. And then you get these two tools um, for zeroing and for removing the mount of the of the of the site. The warranty on this particular red dot site is 10 years here in Europe. Um, the price it's really affordable. It costs one 169 euros, and that applies to both the 3 MOA and the 6 MOA version. Both are 50 euros cheaper than the 1 by 22 by 26 variants. So I would say that for what it offers, it's incredibly affordable, and definitely worth taking a look at. Okay, now that I've come to the end of this video, I want to go through the advantages and disadvantages of this Red Hot site. And I think that the main advantage, which I already pointed out half a minute ago, is the incredibly affordable price and all the features that come at this price. So you get 10 levels of illumination intensity, enough for all lighting conditions. You get a quality glass, uh, really nice colors, not much tint. You get a window of a decent size. You get an RMR footprint, so if you wish to purchase an after-sales adapter, perhaps of the quick detachable type, you won't have trouble. You you won't have trouble finding one. And you also have two dots at disposal. You have three MOA and six MOA. Now this is not a rule, but uh, if owners of rifles usually go for three MOA dot sizes, while pistol users prefer bigger six, seven MOA dots that provide a better target acquisition. But this is all up to the user preference. If you prefer a 3 MOA uh, dot on your pistol, by all means, do get one. I also forgot to mention that there is also the lens cloth added in the box. And the box itself is really nice. Um, so if you wish to transport a device in here, it's really soft, so it will be well protected. What about the disadvantages? Well, the first thing that worth pointing out is that the windage and adjustment screws don't produce any clicks when turned, so you'll have a little bit of a trouble zeroing it, not too much though. Also, the battery compartment is at the bottom. When the battery dies, you have to remove the side from the firearm. You need tools, and then when you put it back, you have to re-zero the device. And this one is not as advanced as the 1x22 by 26 model, which comes with some additional functions. But after all, this one is 50 euros um, less expensive. If you're looking for an affordable, open compact reflex red dot sight and don't need any additional functions, such as a motion sensor and automatic light, light adjustment that you get with the 22 by 26 Vector Optics Frenzy, then this red dot sight is worth giving a try. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you have any questions or want to add a comment. Just use the comment section below. 
uh, take a look at our other vector optics reviews videos and see you next time. Take care.